Oh my god, 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 look what's here! So I was sitting here admiring the fact that my being too lazy to cook this sweet potato meant that I ended up with a brand new plant. And I don't really see any reason to ever cook again if that means extra plants. Then there was a knock on the door. Oh my god, 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 look what's here! Now, just as a quick disclaimer, every single other Faber-Castell product you've ever seen me use in the past, I purchased all those before myself. Everything in this box is being sent to me straight from Faber-Castell because I am doing some videos for them. So we kind of did a bit of a trade. They sent me some products. I'm making them some videos that you will see on their page. So make sure you do follow them on Instagram here on YouTube. I'll put links to those in the description. But that is where all of these supplies have come from. Okay, let's see what is in this box. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff in here. I'm so excited. Okay, first thing I've grabbed is the Faber-Castell Dust Free Eraser. I don't think I've tried. How did I not know this existed? I so would have bought this if I knew that was a thing. I'm really excited to try this out and show you guys how it works. So yay, reviews coming soon. Next, we have the Faber-Castell Graphite Aquarell. You guys know this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites for, this is the water-soluble graphite. Really excited to have more of these. I The more I use these, the more I like them, which is saying something because the very first time I tried them, I was giddy, like there's no other word. And every time I use them more, I'm like, they're amazing. Plus the brush they come with works so well with these. Oh, another package of the graphite aquarelles. My husband actually is going to be really excited because I'll let him use one of these. My husband is an artist too, so maybe we can get him to draw something to share with us. We've got some more erasers. Those are those dust-free ones. Now, these are erasers I'm excited about. I got some of these a while back in the Smart Art Box. I have the, the version that doesn't have the eraser, but the eraser ones, these, or not the eraser, the little brushes, when you're erasing, as I drop that, and when you're erasing and you have little eraser marks, you can use the end brush just to wipe it away. So you don't have to have a separate brush for that. Super helpful. I really like these for colored pencil. Next, we have the Faber-Castell kneaded erasers. I use them both for graphite and colored pencil quite a bit. Ah, more graphite aquarelle. Good thing I like this, huh? What is this? A click and go. What does this say? Click and go. Which one is in English? Oh, right there. Foldable water pot. Okay, how does this work? This looks really neat. Can I open this without ripping it? Oh my gosh, that may be one of my new favorite things. So this is going to hold water. So when you're doing the water soluble graphite or watercolor pencils or anything like that, this is really cool. So good for travel, but in my case, while I don't really travel to paint, how awesome is that for just storage purposes? That is so cool. So that is the Faber-Castell Click and Go Foldable Water Pot. Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know how I didn't know about some of these supplies. Apparently I need to spend some more time on their website. Some more kneaded erasers. Oh my gosh, little metal sharpener. So if you are unaware, mostly I've, I've talked about this a lot in some of my, my tutorial, not tutorials, um, live streams. I really am leaning towards lately and I go through phases. Sometimes I want an electric eraser. Sometimes I want a handheld. Right now I've been on one of my, I like all the handheld metal sharpeners. I'm so excited to see how these work. I'm assuming pretty well because Faber-Castell's, like I've never had a Faber-Castell product that I didn't like. So actually, where's a, a pencil? Let's try this. I'm curious to see how fine of a, part, a point this will sharpen to. So let's try that is on, oops, that's the large side. Let's try the small side. That looks like a, whoa, now it's a weapon. Yep, that's a good sharpener. That is super fine pointed. 
That is really, really nice. Okay, so far now, I think that's the next thing I'm most excited about. I have a feeling every time I see something new, that's going to be the thing I'm most excited about right now. This is like Christmas, but better. We'll save the big boxes for last. Let's see what we've got next. The Faber-Castell 9000 Art Series. These are my the graphite pencils that I like so much. We've got one that's... Oh wait, what is the difference? We've got a art set and a design set. Okay, let's find out what the difference is. So let's start first with the art set. I'm just tossing trash on my floor. Okay, so the art set has pencils. These range, it looks like, from 2H to 8B. So you've got a really good selection there. And those are going to be graphite pencils. And then the design set, oops, that is rolling away. The design set, these ones range from 5H to 5B. Okay, I feel a little bit stupid right now because I had no idea there was a difference in these sets. I only had the, the other one. This is the one that I previously used, the one that goes up to an 8B, but this one gives us everywhere, where did it go? 5H, that is a, that's gonna be your super, super hard lead, which means you're gonna get the really, really light, light shading with that pencil. And then this set goes all the way up to 8B. So you've got a good range here of pencils. That is so cool. How did I not know they had both these sets? Seriously, I feel kind of dumb right now because I've been using the 9000 set forever with the 8B. I had no idea the other was available. And then another set each of those. Okay, now I think, oh, no, wait, one more small. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I've wanted to try this. Faber-Castell's water brush. This is going to work for any of your water-soluble media. So like the Faber-Castell graphite aquarelle, the water-soluble graphite, or the watercolor pencils. This is, yay, I'm excited to try this one. Okay, I think we're on to the big boxes now. Let's see what we've got. We have the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Set. So let's see what this one is. If your local art store doesn't carry these, like mine doesn't, I've never seen this set, you can pick these up online. There are lots of online retailers that apparently have a much bigger selection than anything I've even seen. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, look at this. Okay, so what do we have? We've got some water-soluble graphite, it looks like. We have, what do these range? 2B, 4B, and an 8B. So that is a good selection. Of course, the water brush. Then we've got the graphite pencils that are ranging from 8B, B, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, 2H, I can't see what that is. What are these giant monsters? Oh my gosh. A 2B, 4B, and 8B. Oh my gosh, look at the size of these. This is going to be so amazing for bigger pieces with graphite. Look at those. Like this, I don't know if you can see this really well. This is your normal graphite pencil compared to these giants. I'm thinking for backgrounds and stuff like that. These are going to be amazing. What are these? Graphite Pure. Oh, it's a whole, it's um, a wood, this doesn't have the wood casing on it. I've used these before. Well, not the ones, the, not these specific ones, but ones like those. Those are actually nice to work on. Ooh, look at these. This one is a 2B. That is going to make your fingers, my fingers are already getting dirty. A 2B, 6B, so that's going to go really dark. These, I think, would be amazing if you like to do gesture drawing. 9B. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this one. I can't wait to do just a review of this entire box or especially this set. This is something that I've never used before. We've got a blending tool. This is something if you are looking like, or if, if somebody is looking for a gift for an artist, this set right here gives you so much to work with. This in a good pad of maybe a mixed media paper or a hot press watercolor paper. You've got so much to work with. 
nice little eraser there. And then this is going to be what you can use to sharpen to an even finer point. These are the, the sandpaper blocks for sharpening your graphite pencils. And then of course the actual graphite. Wow, this is such a cool set. I'm I'm definitely gonna have to do another video when once Christmas comes around. Gosh, it's hard to believe that is something we have to think about in the next six months or so. But this would be one of those sets I think that is just such a complete high quality too. That's the thing. These products can be used. These are archival. So you're going to be able to use these in something that you're going to sell. This entire, like, wow, what a great, great set. That is amazing. I almost don't want to use it. It's just such a pretty set, but I'm going to have to use it because we're definitely going to need to do a full review of all the products in there. Okay. The next box. Ah, a new set of polychromos. You know I go through these like crazy. Let's take a look at these. This is the 120 Polychromos colored pencil set. Okay, there is just something so special about brand new pencils. Are those not gorgeous? And so much better organized than my own. Wow. Okay, that's pretty, pretty exciting there. Even though, I mean, okay, technically I already have these pencils, but I go through them so fast and the whole set all together, all pretty. Part of me almost wants to just keep them for photographs. Okay, that would be a waste. I'm not going to do that. And the last box, which means I know what that is. The Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils. I'm probably saying that wrong. I will find out on that one. You guys have been asking for a review on this. I've been super excited and kept telling you I had them coming. Well, here they are. There is 120 watercolor pencils. Let's open those up and take a look. So you can't see my face right now. I cannot stop smiling. I am just, gosh, there is so much amazingness in this box. Wow, look at those pencils. I really like, these ones have a more octagon style or shape than my polychromos. That's gonna make it really easy if I've got them in boxes next to each other to tell which one's which. And I love the octagon shape because they don't roll away like round pencils do. Something minor that's, Probably not a big deal to most people but when I'm trying to take photos of my pencils next to my artwork. That octagon shape is going to be perfect. It's going to make life much easier. Look at all those colors. So it looks like the colors are the, going to be the same as the polychromos. Actually, we can check that real quick. So here is the cadmium yellow in the polychromos. Is it called the same here? Yep, cadmium yellow. So that's going to make it easy. It looks like they're named the same thing from polychromos to the water their watercolor pencils. These are water-soluble pencils. So if you're doing mixed media and you wanted the same color and colored pencil as what you just used in watercolor pencil, that's going to make it really easy to see which pencil you need to grab from one to the other. Now, just as a reminder, if you are doing mixed media, make sure you do your watercolor or water-based pencils first blend them out however you need, and then put your wax or oil-based colored pencils on top. You don't wanna do the reverse because then it won't be archival, but if you put your watercolor down first, then you can put colored pencil on top of that, which makes these sets absolutely perfect to use together if you wanted to do mixed media. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. I'm so excited right now. Have you tried any of these materials? If so, which were your favorites? Also, if you have not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification icon, because subscribe doesn't mean a whole lot anymore, and they don't necessarily notify you unless you also hit the notification button. But make sure that you're subscribed so you can keep up to date with all of my new art videos coming up, including many tutorials using these supplies.